Welcome to the Critical Channel. My name is Elton and I'm one of the admins of this channel. The other admin is Raul. We want to thank you for clicking this video. And if you're new to our channel, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and also click the notification bell so that you get updated in our next video. We have a lot of videos on our channel that you're definitely going to enjoy and like. So I'm glad that you're here today. So for this video, this is all about basic tutorials for Mobile Legends Bang Bang. If you haven't downloaded the app yet, you can go to your app store on your smartphone and download it for free. So this is going to be a series of tutorials for you, especially to those beginners of the game. This series of tutorials will be helpful for you to improve your gameplay and for you to navigate the interface or the gaming environment better. So without further ado, let's start with our first lesson for Mobile Legends. Alright, so we're back with another tutorial and this is the second part of the basic tutorials for Mobile Legends Bang Bang. And for this topic, I'm going to share to you four tips on how to master the hero Odette. So I chose Odette because she's one of the main heroes that I'm using in my account. Um, currently, I am at 53.3% for her win rate and I can tell that I was already able to master that hero. So. I'm going to share with you four tips, just four simple and basic tips on how to master the hero. The very first thing that you would do is to set the emblem. You should choose the correct emblem for Odette. Alright, so to set your emblems, you have to go to Preparation, which is located in the lower left corner of your main page. So it's right here. And then on the next page, it will route you to several options that says Emblems. Spells, build, equipment, and so on and so forth. So we're gonna go ahead and set the emblem first for Odette. And then of course you're gonna choose the emblem that says Mage. Because Odette is a Mage hero. So for beginners, you might not be able to see this yet because you have to purchase this emblem by buying Magic Dust. Um, eventually you'd be able to have this in your bucket and it will be made available for you but if it doesn't show on your on your emblem list yet then you can just go ahead and choose whatever is available right there once you have the emblem available it should be set to the mage emblem the second tip would be to set the build for Odette so so just like emblems the build of the hero can also be located on the same page so from emblems, you have to move to build so that you'd be able to see the build that you currently are using for the hero. So here is my build for Odette. So we have first the demon shoes, the holy crystal, the blood wings, the book of talis, and then for the last one, it would depend on what what would be the case whether you would need um, so much power or so much damage to add to what you already have or you can go ahead and purchase something that would make your hero durable by purchasing defense items so it's going to be up to you but for me um, what I usually do is that I usually have two blood wings one in the third and then one in the fifth To make sure that my magic damage is massive so that's going to be a massive damage if you would combine those items so Odette 
viability is very short so we have to make sure that all of the enemies are already dead and uh, make sure that the third skill of Odette is not being cancelled because it's gonna be useless. We're gonna discuss the one later on um, once we get to the fourth tip but for now let's go ahead and move to the third tip. So the third tip would be, you should be able to use the correct spell button for Odette. The most common spell that players use for this hero would be the flicker. Because while you are doing your third or your SS or what you call the third skill, you can flicker from one place to another by just flickering the area where the enemies are located. So the fourth and the most important tip that I'm going to share to you would be to observe your opponents. So when you are about to use, if you are planning to use the hero Odette, you have to be mindful of what are the heroes that your enemies are using. Because if you are seeing a lot of anti-Odette heroes, the skill, the third skill of Odette will be useless and you wouldn't be of any help to your teammates. So it's best that you observe first, you have to check first, what are the heroes that your enemies are choosing especially if you are on the draft pick so if you notice that there are a lot of other heroes that have stuns that can freeze or that can cancel your third skill then you have to think twice um, it's best not to use Odette for that particular game. So I hope you will apply these tips to your next game if you are planning to use the hero Odette or if you do not have the hero yet you can get and, and buy it. I assure you you will enjoy it. It's very easy to use and it can inflict massive damage um, you'd enjoy. It helped me rank up and I'm sure if you just follow my tips no doubt you'd also be able to rank up faster. So that's it for now. So that's it guys, thank you so much for finishing the video, I hope that was useful for you and if you like the content of this video, if you think this is very helpful for you, please click the subscribe button so that you get updated on our next tutorial. If you want to learn something about Mobile Legends Bang Bang, just let us know in the comment section, we're gonna make a tutorial video for you on that. Again, do not forget to hit the subscribe button so that we can see you on our next video. Thank you so much for watching, this is Ethan once again and you are watching the Cuticle channel. Goodbye!